Well, it's just a couple days out from the start of LCS Summer Split. I'm joined right now by Niski with coverage brought to you by Alienware to chat about how things are going on Cloud9. I asked Licorice this question. I'll ask you it too. Is anyone going to actually be able to stand up to you guys this split? Um, I don't think so. I think since we've been scrimming, we've been doing really well. Uh, I think we only lost one day of scrims, and that was actually yesterday. But it was mostly because we trolled, I think, a lot. Um, yeah, no one's really challenging us. I feel like it's kind of the same as last split, so we'll see how it goes. But I think teams are getting better slowly, but they're not there yet. So, yeah. who did you lose to? Uh, oh, that's a good. I mean, it's okay. We lost to TL. Uh, TL okay. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty good, I think, right now. So. Yeah. Uh, but you said it was people should take it with a grain of salt because you guys were trolling. I mean, I think they're pretty okay, but I think it was also a lot of int on our side. So okay. I'd say it's scrims, so I don't usually care about scrim results at all. Yeah. People, as long as we improve. To be honest, say, I think what, you're not, you don't care about scrims, uh, and you guys no, are. No, no, It was. I was actually happy that we lost yesterday. Okay. Because we've been playing against everyone, and we've been just winning 24/7. And I feel like playing against them and actually losing felt good, I think, for the team. And yeah, it's good that they beat us, you know? Because we right. get too cocky and we play too troll, so... Because we're on the topic of TL, who do you anticipate will do better this split, TL or TSM? I think TL. Uh, I think TSM is still really bad. Um, yeah, I don't think they will be any better than they were last split, in my opinion, but we'll see. All right. Well, that'll spark some conversation. Uh, I, I'm curious what... Uh, you think of the chances that Worlds will happen this year, and do you think about this in your mind at all? Is it a factor? Are you worried? No, I don't think about it because I think it will happen. Um, I feel like Worlds is... I think everything is kind of going better now in like China and Korea, I think, unless I'm wrong. And I feel like Riot really wants Worlds because they already kind of cancelled MSI, and yeah. I don't think they want to cancel Worlds again. I mean, like, uh, first time. Uh, also, I don't think it's that hard to do. Uh, if you all play online, in my opinion. So, I think Worlds would happen. I hope it does. But, no, I'm not really thinking about it at all. But maybe because... maybe not with, like, an arena or something. Like yeah, that. I mean, that's fine, I think. As long as we play against other teams, I think that's what matters. Um, yeah. It's just crazy for me to think about because uh, I know that they wanted to do this, like, really big thing in China for the 10th anniversary. And so, if this just ends up being a thing where it's, like, you guys fly over and you're sitting in some conference room somewhere... <laughs> playing against other teams it's gonna feel so weird right yeah i mean it would suck but we don't really have a choice i think so yeah sucks uh what uh, besides tl are there any other teams that you're expecting to do well based off of scrims or maybe roster changes you've seen or anything at all um not really i think tl is the only team that i can think of now Every other team is really easy to play against and really, I mean, really easy games, to be honest. So I'd say only TL. Okay. Uh, how did you spend your break? Because I just talked to Licorice a little bit. He said he was reading some books. Um, I mean, I mostly played Hearthstone. Oh, really? Hearthstone? <laughs> I'm just chilling. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of back to it. Or like, I was playing it before, like a little bit. But now I think Zen was playing it in queue, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should also play it, you know? And then now I'm kind of addicted to it. Did you know that Riot makes a card game? Yeah, I know. Runeterra or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that game next. Uh, yeah, mostly that, and just movies, chilling. Nothing too special, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, was it difficult not being able to go home? I don't know if you normally would during this type of break. Um, last year, I did not go home. And I don't think I wanted to go home this split either, even if I could, because uh, it's not worth, because we only have like two weeks or whatever. Yeah. So, no, I'm, fi I'm fine being here for now. Okay. Uh, has the team been doing anything, I guess, to help make sure? I, I mean, actually, you guys already practiced at home, so it's not like there's any... Like, this has pretty much affected C9 probably the least of any team, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we've been kind of living together, I guess, in a way. So, it doesn't really matter for us. Yeah. Is, are you guys doing any, taking any special precautions given that you guys are all there together? Yeah, I mean, it's like, Jack is really strict about it. We're like, 
no one can go outside, no one can do like touch the food that gets delivered. Uh, just everything is kind of getting wiped, you know, like Jack is taking every precaution where he makes sure that we just don't get sick or whatever, you know, like the, the Corona thing. Um, yeah. And yeah, like no one from the outside can come inside the house. Um, so yeah, I think he's taking it really seriously and we've, had, we've been having no issues at all. So I think it's been going really great, yeah. yeah. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, we've got LCS games on Fridays now. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you a fan of that? Does I mean, yeah, I think I think it's better because <laughs> before we had it on Monday. Yeah. I mean, now it's kind of awkward again because, for example, I think this weekend we play on Friday and then we play on Sunday, and I think the team that we play on Sunday, like that's the only team that we can scrum on Saturday as well. So we have to scrum oh. on the enemy team. Which is fine for us, but I yes. think other teams might not want to scrum their academy team. And also, I hate playing Friday and then Sunday because it makes it really awkward for my planning, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I think it's bad a bit to have like three days of LCS or whatever, but I think it's okay. It's better than Monday, though, because yes. Monday was really bad. And it sounds like you still would like to just have it be two days Saturday yeah. and Sunday. Yeah. I mean, either two days or three days, but you just play two days straight, you know, because. Playing Friday into Sunday just makes no sense for me. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, Closer got a new mid laner that he's pretty excited about. Do you think Golden Guardians will do well? Do you think <laughs> he'll do well? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't want to trash talk anything, but... Well, you Closer usually have no problem trash talking him, true, so true. I feel like... I mean, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that Monte will bring a lot to the team, in my opinion. I think... Even though people are saying like Grayson was bad or whatever, I think just that whole team is just not good in general. Uh, the only guy that we see do decent is closer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe if the multi closer is really good, then they can maybe play like the jungle. Uh, I brought this up as a means for you to trash talk your friend, and you just used it to praise your friend and trash talk everybody else on the team. Yeah, but he's decent, you know. I kind of lie about it. Um, okay. But I don't think that GGS would be like. I don't like a top three or top four or whatever. I think they're still going to be bad, but we'll see. Well, we're out of time, unfortunately, but is there anything you would like to say to any of the fans out there? Um, I mean, keep supporting us. Last bit, we, we played really good. We won the split and we want to do it again. And then also see you guys at Worlds if it happens. And if it does, then I hope we perform well there. Yeah. So keep supporting us, guys. See ya. Well Thank you so much for the interview, Niski. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hello, I owe you an apology. I'm sorry you have to look at how shaggy I am since uh, having been on a haircut for months and months and months. And that's a struggle. But you know what isn't a struggle? <laughs> Playing Fantasy League of Legends. Oh my God, I'm losing myself here. With uh, Draft Buff. They're sponsoring this interview as well as Alienware. So thank you to both of them for doing that. Use the link in the video description to sign up for Draft Buff. Uh, there's all sorts of cool stuff over there. It's fantasy the way Riot used to make it. Uh, you can actually go play in the leagues over there. But they also have something cool called a Draft Royale, where you can you have like a bunch of different entries, you get a budget, and you can play with a ton of people. And for opening weekend, we're actually doing a fantasy Draft Royale, uh, myself and Mark Zimmerman for Hotline League, and you can join up and try to beat our scores and compete against other uh, Travis Gafford YouTube channel viewers, I guess. Uh, and so do that at the link in the video description and uh, be sure to sign up. Yeah, because the link will bring you to the, the Draft Royal. That's how this works. Anyway, thanks for watching.